Calling page 31, case A-21-828840-C, Red Rock Financial Services, Donna Tobin. Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. 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 I'm Kerry Fonner. I'm appearing on behalf of Red Rock Financial. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Bar number 14689, appearing on behalf of Nona Tobin, who is also present via blue jeans. Good morning, Your Honor. Lola Zazara, bar number 13138 for Nation Star. And Wells Fargo, sorry. And I'm sorry, who is here on behalf of Red Rock? Good morning, Your Honor. Kerry Fonner. Good morning, Mr. Fonner. All right. I set this for a status check because when last we were here, Ms. Tobin had filed her third party complaint on March 22nd of 2021 against Mr. Scow, Mr. Wright, Mr. Hong, Ms. Morgan, Mr. Ochoa, and Mr. Wood. And the summons and complaint had not been served within the 120 days. And therefore, I set it for an order to show cause as to why her third party complaint should not be dismissed. But additionally, there's also her counterclaim. And there was no service of that as well. Now, the other day, I received a motion to dismiss as it pertained to the third party complaint, a notice of voluntary dismissal, which the court did sign off on. But the reason that this remained on calendar is because the counterclaim had also not been filed or had also not been served. And so to that extent, dismissal would be appropriate as to that as well. And so that's why it remained on file, Ms. Carver. Your Honor, I have joined in and substituted in September 15th. I wasn't aware that you were having this hearing as far as the third party counterclaim. I mean, the counterclaim, because I do believe it was served as all the parties have appeared in this matter. I don't show service of the counterclaim. So, Mr. Fonan, do you show service of the counterclaim? I do not, Your Honor. But I can tell the court that Red Rock, that the court has already granted Red Rock's motion to dismiss the third party counterclaims and the motion for summary judgment. There is a motion for reconsideration that's been filed that our opposition is due on the 22nd of this month that we'll be filing our opposition to. But to my knowledge, I don't believe the complaint, the third party complaint has been served on any of the parties mentioned by Your Honor. I cannot speak with certainty on Mr. White. But it's my understanding that they have not been served on Mr. Scow. And Mr. Scow has only appeared in this case as a representative of, as the attorney of record for Red Rock Financial. And I, the first of the month, began working with Koch and Scow and I'm appearing on Mr. Scow's behalf in that capacity today. Mr. Fonan, let me interrupt. The third party complaint, that was in fact dismissed. So that's not what I'm asking about. I'm asking about the counterclaim specifically. Because I don't believe that the counterclaim has been served either. I apologize, Your Honor. I was just, I guess I was a little zealous in giving you some procedural history. To answer your question, I do not believe 
that the counterclaims have been served. I, I cannot speak to, for certainty, uh, but it's my understanding they have not uh, been served. That was my understanding as well. Ms. Zara, do you have any other understanding? Ms. Zara? If you're on your phone, you need to push star four to unmute yourself. Sorry about that, Your Honor. That's Sorry, right. it took me a second to unmute myself. Um, I didn't see it in, I didn't see proof of service. Yeah. So that's what we're dealing with, Ms. Carver, is that, and that's the reason why I brought you in on the show cause is because I don't see that the counterclaim has in fact been served upon the parties either. So the third party complaint, great, that's been dismissed. <clears throat> but the counterclaim has also not been served and therefore would be subject to dismissal. Your Honor, I do believe that the counterclaim was uh, served at the same time the answer was in March, March 8th of 2020. Um, it was filed with the court and it was served on all the parties at that time. Hold on a moment. In fact, on May 3rd, it appears that both Wells Fargo and Nation Star did a joinder to Red Rock's motion to dismiss counterclaim. So there must have been service on both Red Rock Financial Services and as well as Nation Star and Wells Fargo because they did a response to the counterclaim, Your Honor. Give me one second. Your Honor, if I may, this is Kerry Fine. I don't believe you're asking if Red Rock was served. You're asking if the individual parties, uh, Mr. Scow and Mr. White were served. No, I'm and not. And I've reached out to Mr. <laughs> No, I'm not, Mr. Fonin, because that's already been dismissed. I was specifically asking whether or not Red Rock was served with the counterclaim. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Um, that was my, I, I was confused. Let me, I thought you were, when you listed off the Mr. Scow, Mr. White, Ms. Morgan, I thought that's who you were asking about service on. My, my apologies. No, I already know that they weren't served, which is the reason why that the third party complaint has been voluntarily dismissed. Let me, I'm, I'm reaching out to Mr. Scow to get an answer on that. I had to leave the office, Your Honor. So I'm reaching, I'm, I'm reaching out to Mr. Scow right now to uh, get that information. All right. And Your Honor, this is uh, Lily Zara for Nation Star. Um, I don't see any proof of service on the docket, but I will look at my file right now again carefully to see. And I think just because we um, joined or responded to something didn't mean we were necessarily served properly. But let me look at uh, all my files. Your Honor, doesn't their appearance and response qualify as a waiver of service? Yes. Since they, since Red Rock did file a motion to dismiss the counterclaim on April 16th, and then Nation Star thereafter joined. Yes. Okay, it so, looks like it was served. Didn't All they right. waive service by their appearance? Yes. In responses, you're I just said yes, Ms. Carver. 
I'm sorry, Your Honor. All right. Um, and it does appear, I'm looking at the certificate of service right now, and it does appear that it was served on all parties listed in the Odyssey e-file service contact list on the Eight. Yeah, and I was I was just told by Mr. Scow there was an electronic copy that that okay. was served. All right, um, and the fact that you all filed a motion to dismiss and and that constitutes valid service. So here's where we're at. I guess there's a motion for reconsideration that's been filed. So we will hear that in the ordinary course. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Perez versus.